Hi everyone, welcome back to RJK English. We're going to continue with comparing two different words and explaining the difference between them. So this time, this time we are going to do accept and accept. Before I start, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps me to make these videos and comment and I will answer uh, I will answer to your comments. You can hit the bell icon so that you know anytime I make videos and hit me up on RJK English and we can have a further conversation. Uh, I'm sorry, RJK English on Facebook. Okay? So accept and accept. The thing is, we pronounce them the same as we talk. Now, if I think about it, I say except, except here, except. And here I say accept. If I think about it, but really we don't say them any differently. We say the schwa in English, which is like an uh, it's our go to sound. So it's we uh, oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. That's a schwa. It means this uh sound except I say except. OK, that's the problem with this is that you can wonder which one is being used. Um, except means to keep to separate something to make an exception means I do something for all of these and not for this person. Okay. Except is to welcome something in. Okay. So they are two different concepts. Except can be a verb and that's the key. If you feel like it's a verb, it's going to be except. Verb. To accept. Except is not a verb. Um, uh, it is, I believe, a uh, preposition. It's a preposition. It, uh, it's a function word. So, um, I like all animals except snakes. Now, this obviously is not a verb. It's not a verb. It's comparing these two things, except snakes. I could put and snakes here, right? Preposition and uh, or conjunction. That's a conjunction and. Uh, I could put, uh, yeah. So except means all except that one. To make an exception, to make an exception, uh, make an exception means to, uh, uh, like an exception to the rule. That's an exception to the rule. This is a statement. We, that's an exception to the rule. So for instance, all Americans, this, this is not true, but all Americans have to go into the military um, at 18 years old. That's not true, but I'm just going to say this as a rule. Except for um, uh, Catholics, people of the Catholic religion. So I make an exception for Catholics in that rule. I make an exception for Catholics. Or let's say um, the teacher assigns um, uh, homework to you and they say everyone has to do this homework except for Billy. Billy doesn't have to do it because he did so well in class today. Or everybody can go out and play except for Billy because he didn't get his work done. I make an exception. So um, everybody has to do something but I make an exception for this one person. They don't have to do it, right? That's an exception to the rule. The rule is everybody needs to go outside, but the exception to the rule is Billy. He doesn't have to go outside, okay? 
to accept I accept you into our group when you go on Facebook and you say I want to join RJK English well it doesn't work like that but I accept you into the group or I can accept your friend request right it doesn't mean this it means this accept notice it's a verb I accept the friend request from you on Facebook right um, I don't make exceptions but we do uh, sorry actually we do you can make an exception speech so when I get an award if you watch the um, uh, what is it Emmy Awards and things like this the Oscars the person always makes an exception speech it means they accept the award and they give a speech um, to show their exception of the award but it overall is a verb now I can use a verb that kind of means except and it's called it's exempt um, everyone in the US has to do mili military service but I exempt Catholics from that rule that is a verb to exempt it means to make an exception for that group I exempt them from that um, yeah so that is one way that you can kind of make a verb out of except but it literally you have to use that M exempt and we don't really say the P we say it like this egg like egg exempt 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 now this is a good way to talk about pronunciation this is a K sound except why is there an S sound after that K S sound after the K sound except but here exempt it's a G sound with a Z why is that because um, here we're pronouncing this as a uh, it could be a KZ or a GZ right what is a Z a Z is the vocalized version of the S I, my tongue is in the same place watch S -Z. this air is going and hitting the back of my teeth S -Z. what's the difference S -Z. there's only one thing my voice box I will do this when my voice box is active S -Z. not active S -Z. that's the vocalized version of the S Z is the vocalized S is unvocalized K and G are the opposites of each other in this Z is vocalized K is not vocalized G is G -g -g see when you say a G you can't keep saying the G because your mouth fills up with air or behind your tongue it fills up with air you can't do it G -g -g -g. but you can hear it Gary Gary you can hear my g but K is just a k. it's a plosive k, k. k is the unvoiced version of the G and G is the voiced version of the K so when we have this s sound here for sept it necessitates the K sound which is unvoiced when we have the s sound in a, a except k sound is used unvoiced unvoiced but here this is a z sound so the k turns into a g exempt so that's your extra part about uh pronunciation in english and how it works i hope that was interesting to you and i'll see you next time